Hey everyone, we got about an hour and a half left to stream, so we are now heading to Missidia. Uh, where the fuck is my boat? Alright, it's way down here. Life always finds a way. Thank you, Dr. Malcolm. If it's which version of Dr. Malcolm are you most attracted to? Uh, he's the uh, guy Jeff Goldblum plays in uh, Jurassic Park. There are no wrong answers. But there are right answers. And left answers. And hamsters. Okay, so I think this is where we want to be. We fought bombs before. I don't actually know. Hey, Oswald sold up. Alright, so there's a whole bunch of new enemies here, I think, guys. These things are uh, among one of the new enemies. Apparently, uh, I, if these things are anything like the ones in the first game, they can turn you to stone. He didn't know that was a character. Thought Jeff was just making a cameo as himself. <laughs> He's always just playing himself, just with different names. I can't imagine this uh, being something that happens quickly because these guys don't take much physical damage. Okay, let's take Darrow. So we gotta actually kill these with, like, magic. So, let's do that. Oh, now I'm doing damage again. Oh, she did fuck all. Good. Alright. Magic's doing dick to them as well. Oh, I have an idea. Hang on. Okay. Try that. I'll have you attack, I'll have you cast Thunder 10 on just one of them. Single target. Thunder 7, there we go. 51 damage, okay, that was better. 78, alright, well, th th this is... This is what we gotta do. You guys would be great for leveling up our weapons, though. Great. Anyway, this is, um, we've got uh, bombs, cockatrices, and uh, black plans here. There's still a whole bunch more monsters to find in this area. Holy shit, we actually did a bunch of damage to it. There's a whole bunch more monsters for us to find in this area, so... Sword and shield leveled up. Told you. I think we're going the wrong way, though. Let's go this way. Oh, there's the uh, red moose. Great. Okay. 
We get to repeat this, guys. I can't make it any faster because my characters do not have very good magic, apparently. Uh, Doofus, if you took Jeff Goldblum on a date, where would you take him? Don't these look kind of look like? If you took Ultras's uh, tentacles away, they look kind of like Ultras with no tentacles. Ballroom dance lessons. You're a classy guy. You're a classy guy, Xanadufus. Okay, let's not run into those ever again, but at least they're done. Now we gotta find the other monsters that are here, like Flying Ray and Bighorn. Everybody loves Flying Raymond. I think these Bighorns are new as well. Uh, though I'm pretty sure we fought something similar before. But like a super intense eight hour a day masterclass for four days. <laughs> I love it. There you go, Doofus. Faye's willing to go with you. Speaking of which, Faye, how was your weekend, buddy? What'd you and the family get up to? You do anything exciting? I had a very lazy weekend, which is fine with me. I don't mind lazy weekends. Hey, hang on a second. I gotta copy and paste these uh, into Notepad. Just so I can keep the record of the ones in this area that I've got and fought. Okay, so we fought Bomb. You can delete that. Not black plan and red moves, we can delete those. Flying rain, big coin, cockatrice. Okay, so there's four left we gotta find. Uh, ghost, werewolf, imp, and vampire girl. Yeah, I'm just gonna play. It's gonna take too long. Hey, bitches. Did you drop gill in this game? Yeah, the, the, the red plans in that take too long. Hey, coffee! Welcome! Oh shit. <laughs> Oops. Uh, auto battle made me run again. So playing Midnight Sun? Sun had a basketball game? What are you doing? FF2 is good. I've kind of broken the game in that my characters are almost unkillable. Yeah, we're filling out the beastry as we go along. So I kind of have a thing up that tells me which monsters are where, so I don't have to spend too long looking for them. Alright, two more battles after this, and then we'll just go into Mysidia. I should have guessed that you played Midnight Suns. What are you playing now, Copy? Also, welcome. It's few and far between we get to have you in chat. Valhalla. I saw a video uh, that was recommended to me, and I don't know why, because I've never actually played much of the Assassin's Creed series, but it was like, Assassin's Creed, it was a game made for no one. And I was like, what? Alright, one more fight, and then we'll head into town. Assassin's Creed Valhalla? Yeah. Oh.
You're not into chapter two and you're almost maxed with all the characters on friendship. You go into Japan, so you might uh, start DQ Treasures on the plane. So I finished DQ Treasures, and I have some complaints with it, but I'm not going to share those with you, as I want you to play it and decide if you like it. That said, I did really like it. Um, overall, my experience is positive. Uh, doing a Dragon Quest. See, I want to go to the Square Enix Cafe. I wanna, but I can't afford to leave my house, much less go to Japan. How are Eleanor, Eleanor and I don't know your other cat's name yet. Oh, Chris and Booz. Man, if only. This is Miss City, a kingdom of mages. You've certainly come a long way to be here. I don't know how long. I can't afford to say, let's go to the end first. Thea, yes. They're napping in the cat tree next to your desk. Aw, oh, cats. That's good to hear. Where we have many ancient texts in our town. Please play, browse them at your leisure. Three artifacts protect the seal on the tower. I believe it is as you say. The time to break the tower seals upon us. I have a better question. I was going to say, why are none of you moving? That was unnerving. I got power staff. Flame lights. Oh, here we go. We're getting an ogre killer. That boost in attack power, it's gonna mean nothing. You know, Faye? I actually didn't have any pot until somewhat recently. For the first time. And, uh, I tried gummies and it didn't really do anything for me. That's about the same, except I get benefit of it being an ice shield. Alright. Um, I didn't really get any benefit from the gummies. They didn't really do much for me. Um, I tried smoking it, and again, nothing. Uh, but I got drinks, and the drinks, the, the, those, those hit me. But they do tend to make me sleepy. Oh shit, okay, hang on. Watch that. Here, okay. We actually found some magic. That's good, guys. Uh, hold on. He can't use it because he's full up on spells. Well, we're gonna have to get rid of fog or mini. Um, I'm gonna get rid of fog. No, oh, I'm gonna get rid of mini. I don't care about mini. And we're good. But uh, yeah, the drinks, uh, the drinks uh, affect me, but they make me, primarily they make me sleepy. Some time ago, a wizard named Minwoo passed through this town on his way to the tower. You'd best hurry after him. A statue of go a goddess is enshrined beneath the city. She watches over the crystal rods. The fuck are the crystal rods? A very small island lies in the middle of the sea. There you'll find the black mask. The white mask's counterpart. Alright, that's cool. You want to break the seal in the tower? Yes, I agree. This is the time. We will do nothing to stop you. Oh, okay, that's reassuring.
You must first collect the two masks, then travel to a certain cave somewhere on this continent. Within, you should find a crystal rod. An artifact, okay, can you? An artifact you will need if you are to enter the tower. I don't know why that auto scrolled. What do you know of Wild Rose Bookshelf? Nothing. Mithril? Mithril is strong. Easily processed metal. Highly responsive to magic. It forms the basis of magical armaments. Okay. What do you know about airships? Recent technical advances have produced the airship. Should these technical arts proliferate, they can one day drive magic from the world. Okay. It knows nothing of the Dreadnought. In a time before the world knew castles or kingdoms, a star fell to the land now called Kashuan. A man gathered flame from the star and built an altar to enshrine it. Oh, okay, that was nice one. Once long ago, a king ordered the making of an indestructible lock and key. Three sets were fashioned. The first was forged, for, forged from friendship, the second from love, and the third from wonder. The sets forged from friendship and love were soon so broken, but the third was wrought from the wonder, evoked by the ringing of a single pure note, and it held fast. That key was the goddess's spell. So pleased was the king, he hid the bell away in a cavern of snow, where it rests to this day. What? The island of Dice was the ancestral home of the Wyverns. A knight named Han visited the island, and over a period of 30 years, he cultivated a bond with the Wyverns. Hey, Parazen! Hello! Welcome! It has been a while since we've seen you. How you doing? A close relatives of the dragons, the wyvern is trained to serve as the airborne mount of the dragoons. Though smaller than a dragon, the creature's strength allows it to carry four to five people into the air. Oh, sick. That's very convenient. Fearing that the tremendous power they wielded might lead the world to destruction, the mages of old founded a settlement in Mysidia and dwelt there in seclusion. Okay. Make of the white mask an offering to the goddess beneath Mysidia. If thou art pure of heart, the doppelganger will cease to move. Fit the blast ma black mask upon him, and both he and his defiled heart shall fade. <gasps> it doesn't know Ekmektelos. In ages past, Pandemonium, the palace of the Lord of Hell, emerged unto our land. The mages of old wove a spell of fearsome power and banished Pandemonium, avoiding the crisis. However, the mages feared that the spell was so powerful it could throw the world into chaos, so they constructed a great tower and sealed it in the tome inscribed with the spells. Secrets. Alright. Cool. Because they could die. I'm doing pretty good. Thank you for asking, uh, Parazen. What you been playing lately? You dodged a bullet with Forspoken? I don't know about that. I guess we'll find out. Have this white mask. Oh, sick. Alright, I think that's all we can do for now. Was the most unnatural ad campaign you knew it wouldn't be good? I don't know, I played the demo, it seemed fine. You like everything. You hated the demo? Well, I mean, if you hated the demo, then you're not gonna like the release. What? How's that make me a whore? In fact... <laughs> Why do you think whores like everything? You agree. Exactly. What? <laughs> I don't know if that's true. No. Alright. Okay, good job, guys. Oh, she did 69 to it. Nice. Alright. Let me ask you this, Faye. How do you feel about paying that? Huh? 
69, the evidence is mounting, just like you. Mounting. <laughs> Aw, Bailey. I have so many pictures that I look over and see, and it's just pictures of Bailey. There are no other words that exist in the human layers for how much PMS sucks at us. I mean, your phrasing works in more ways than one for PMS. This one here does not want to take any physical damage. There he goes. He's dead. 1,050. Alright, we'll fight a couple more battles here just to see if we can run into the enemies we're missing. I don't want to fight this. He met his Miata. Looks like my characters want to fight this, because they are not running. Oh, there they are, okay. A fucking time. Alright. What the f Actual fuck! Get out of here, Black Lens! You're terrible! Ah, oh. he meant is Miata because we have to leave the English language to find the words. What the fuck is this game? Why would they move to this land? Wait, seriously, of all the places to move to, you move to a land that's just filled with black flans? That sounds horrible. Why would you want to live there? All right, well. Black fans and flo floating brains. Floating brands. Alright, well, we're gonna head over to the next area. Which is down here. Here, we actually stepped in there once, uh, just to get on the thing, just in case, because I couldn't remember if it was optional or not. Oh shit, I didn't want to review the aura. Oh well. So we're actually heading out to unlock, um, the ultimate magic in the game. Dream 2. Excellent, I got 18 HP back. Okay, down we go. Helldiver. Dude, my Layla is way stronger than Layla has ever been in any of the games I've played before of this. Alright, here we go. So, the Tropical Island. This is basically, I stepped in here before and then just left. I think there's three new enemies in here from my beastery, if I remember right. Okay, well. I already hate this place. Okay, so we're gonna swap uh, Layla over to casting lightning. Or thunder, sorry. Once it's my turn to attack. That way we have like a consistent amount of damage on them, because they do seem to take mad damn magic damage each time. 
as you can see. Perfect. Alright. So, our first treasure chest. Oh shit, these guys are undead. I didn't I completely forgot about that. Eye drops is our first treasure. Actually, how many treasure chests are there here? 20. Oh great. Okay. Sure. Here goes. At least the red mooses seem to take damage from magic as well. That definitely helps out. Oh. You can work on that. I don't know, did I actually show you this guy? Um, so you know how my capture card has been acting like ass lately? Well, I went out and got a new one. We got ourselves the Elgato. HD60S. I've been renting out my parking space for a few months, so I had enough money saved from that to just buy myself a new capture card. I was gonna get the uh, HDX, but they didn't have any in the store, so I was like, fuck it, they got this one here, I'll just get it. And it was 240. It was actually quite worth it, sir. <gasps> Welcome, Blobby and Raiders! Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, guys, how are you doing? Well, the HDX was only $20 more, so I was like, I'll get that, but they didn't have any in store. How are you guys doing? <laughs> Oops. Sorry, I'm getting a little loud. I apologize to PM it. Uh, hearing a DQ sound bite during a FFF game is so bizarre. It is, it is. I am unfortunately killing your people, I apologize. But they have to go. I've tried, Faye. It doesn't work. Welcome, Raiders. How are you doing? I am Sasori. We are slowly making our way through Final Fantasy... Ah, uh, 2. That's the one I'm playing, too. Oh shit, I didn't expect that to die. Oh, we got the yellow jelly. There we go. That's one of at least two new enemies down. I went from an area that's just full of, like, fucking black moves to... Another area that's just full of enemies as well. What were you playing today, Blob? But yeah, so I, I got the HDX. Uh, I, I was just going to get it because... Like, it was the best model available at the time. Uh, or at the store. But they didn't have any in, so... 60S Plus should serve my... Valorant! Shooting the wall instead of heads. That's what I do when I play first person shooters. My very first play of the game in Overwatch was a long bad time ago. Um, it was on Symmetra. The video was me not knowing the controls very well. And I had set up a bunch of turrets and they were killing people left and right. But I was looking at a wall and then I smacked the wall. <laughs> It was, it was glorious. It didn't. I went all Persona 5 on it. Every time, every time I swap over to her not using lightning to conserve her MP, we run into a battle that has me requiring MP again.
Exactly. I've played the Souls games, I know how this works. I know exactly how this works. Well, Blobby, we're playing some FF2 today. Um, so far, I'm really enjoying it, uh, enjoying going through it again, but the encounter rate in this game is a lot higher than I remember. I guess for technical difficulties. Did you at least have some good games where you weren't just shooting the wall? Look at I'm ambushed. I do like that auto battle uh, speeds up the fight. Situations like this where I keep ending up. You think you won two, lost two? Not bad, 50%. That's, that's good. I will take all of your MP. I'm like, why isn't she getting 999 MP? And it's because she isn't actually... She, she's max. She doesn't have 999. I have um, Plopment right now just casting Osmos because uh, she's... I'm trying to level up her magic because we're going to be giving her Ultima Spider Silk. We need a Poison Toad and a Big Horn. Well, every round I just have her casting magic just to level it up. Because Ultima is an interesting spell because it has a base damage value, which is nothing to, nothing to sneeze at. But it also uh, does more damage based on the level of your other spells. So the stronger they are, the stronger your Ultima will be. Which is pretty neat. Can you teach Ultima to one of the, um, one of the temp members in your party? I could have sworn I saw somebody teach it to, uh, one of the temp members. I could have, yeah, I could have sworn I was watching somebody and they taught it to one of the, uh, temp members. And I distinct like maybe I was dreaming here, but I distinctly remember this person just like fucking freaking out because that party member they thought was staying and they left. Helps if you do Donna Souls. Yeah, like there's, there's a reason but uh, to do it, but This is more recent. I think it was the Pixel Remaster, so that, that reason is, uh... Kind of negated. Alright, so we got another... One... Two... Three, four, five. Okay. Oh, here's the poison jabs. Fine. I think that's the first time that's worked. In case you guys are wondering, I'm not trying to over my power my characters like anymore. We've reached the point where that it, it just is. Treasure chest. Oh, it actually works on two of them. Look at that. 
I love when that happens. And Brave falls off. Okay. Spider Silk. Okay. Is there anything else down here, or is this just another dead end? Wild Horns! Okay, I'm pretty sure we popped these before, but they might be a different model for the same enemy. I said I didn't want to cast Break. Oops. Oh. We'll, we'll need the point towards it anyway, so. Ah, uh, Veteran Treasure Hunter achievement, guys. I think that's 50% of the treasures. It'd be nice if death would work on these. Alas, no such luck. On the bright side, though, I think we found all the other monsters that are going to spawn in this area. What's up here? Oh. Here. Oh, what have we here? Where are you coming from? Oh, look at your weird face. Why are you not wearing a mask? Oh, look at your weird face! Why are you not wearing a mask? Okay. What can I do for you? This is how you felt during the pandemic? Alright. have all. This man is now the richest man in town. Black Mask is our treasure. We keep you at the bottom of the cave. You keep you your hands off. No matter. You can't find you. So you not take you. Oh, this guy sells a demon axe. That sounds good. That's not bad, what we got. Earthquake! Demon spear. Let's get one of these. One of these. Just in case I decide to use a spear. It's actually not better. Why was it listing it as better? Fuck you. I assume that we don't need to go back here. Look at these! I do kind of want to see what the animation for death is. So I hope it works for that reason. I should try to teach all of my characters uh, swap. And then just get my... Uh, Oh, there it goes. I should heal them, actually. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. We're kicking some butt. Of course. It's fine. Look at that. Okay, so we're gonna run, I think. All the way over, okay. 
Shit, I didn't want to cast thunder. Oops. Oh. I do like the spell effect, but that, that's pretty neat. My favorite spell effect in the game is actually for warp. Uh, I think warp looks super cool. Hey, death leveled up. All right, and they dropped a mace. Ooh, a scourge tome? <gasps> Always wanted one of those. Oh, I don't have like 50 of them. These guys are considered Earth or what they're considered, but uh, maybe Aura 3 will help us uh, do damage to them. Apparently not. I just saw movement out of my uh, the left of my eyes, and I look over, and there's the video of Bailey playing in the uh, in the bathtub. Saying, did you uh, take a lot of video of um, of Pinky? Because there's one thing I regret about Bailey is that I didn't get enough video of her. In fact, I gotta go and grab. Um, I gotta go through my streams to find uh, any that I can of her meow because I don't have any videos of her meowing and I miss her voice. Another Scourge Stone tome, what the fuck? Her little cat voice. Alright, we're gonna 